entrance and the phone. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend, and those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered to us and our families, and in particular, the, um, the parishioners of St. Francis Xavier. As an announcement, the Adoration Chapel needs a substitute today at 5 p.m. See Dottie Watson, our, our contact us. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raise up saying in nations of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by this help we may imitate you in fighting the good fight on earth. And Mary to receive with him a crown in heaven. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back, each from his evil way, so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for the evil deeds. Say to them, Thus says the Lord, if you disobey me, not living according to the law I place before you, and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophet, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them, I will treat this house like Shiloh, and make this the city to which all the nations of the earth shall refer when cur cursing another. Now the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking, and that the Lord bade him speak to all the people, the priests and the prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumbered of the hairs of my head who hate me without cause, too many for my strength, are they who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face, I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's son, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant love. Lord, in your great love. Hallelujah, 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is he not his mother Mary? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. We have a remarkable story in today's Gospel. We see the classic example of how familiarity can breed, breed a hostile environment for Jesus' work among us. In his hometown place of worship, Jesus isn't able to work any mighty deeds because the people thought they knew him and didn't have faith in who he could be for them. He's the carpenter's son. They knew his family. They thought they knew everything there is to know about him. Isn't this also true that we can become hardened? Don't we too often get ourselves into a place where our sophisticated knowledge of so much can block our ability to open to what we don't know, what we don't understand, or what we cannot yet even imagine. Some, I sometimes think about how we receive the Eucharist, a gift so familiar, almost something that has become ordinary to us. I think in contrast that whenever a famous person comes to town, for a concert or a talk, an incredible number of people stand in line with great excitement and pay really steep prices for a ticket to sit in a crowd of thousands just to catch a glimpse of the person or to say, I was there. Yet each Sunday, for many of us and for some of us, on a daily basis, we are able to receive the, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus himself. We receive what's called Holy Communion with him. Sometimes we get up in a, in a communion line as if, as if we're bored, distracted, focusing on the clothes or behavior of others. Wouldn't it be an incredible unleashing of Jesus' power if we were to be really open, alert, ready for this encounter with him? What if, in preparation, we were to practice paying attention to the Eucharistic prayer to the Father, giving thanks and asking the Spirit to transform the gifts on the altar? What if our hearts were deeply involved in that request? Imagine really feeling, experiencing, that this is Jesus here in front of me, that he has taken away my sins, and I am so blessed to be called to the supper. We could talk with Jesus on our way up to, the communion, to this communion with him. Lord, I am asking you to let me receive you more fully today. You know what struggles we had at home before we left to come here. You know how wrapped up I am in so much worry, fear, and anger. Let me be open to your love as I receive you. Renew me by this communion with you, and please fill me with your peace. United with you more completely, more gratefully, I know that I can be more loving and forgiving at home, more hopeful and, and courageous at work, more generous and active in my parish community. Remain in me today, every day this week, and let your spirit connect me with your spirit and others whom you call me to love. 
We know Jesus has the power to save and heal us. We just need to take the steps beyond the ordinary and familiar to let him to let his power and love work in us. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, or the order which we call the Jesuits. He began life as a person of wealth whose greatest desire was to be a soldier. After being seriously wounded during a battle, he recuperated while reading a book about Jesus and one about the saints. Unlike the people of Jesus' time, he took what he heard to heart and began a radical transformation of his heart and life. God speaks to us today as he did to the two nations and to the people of Jesus' time, to those in the synagogue and the people in today. He speaks to us as we gather around his table, calling to reject sin and walk in the light of gospel. Now let us stand and offer our prayer and petition to God, our Heavenly Father. For missionaries who bring joy, the joy of the gospel to distant lands, may God bless them with the spirit of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of authority, may the Holy Spirit give them a servant's heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are rejected by society, may Jesus sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community and for blessings upon those we encounter in our daily lives, let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they now share in the eternal life God promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, those that are prayer and petition, we ask you to visit us and accept our prayers. We ask for Jesus in Christ. Amen. Let us join in saying the prayer for protection and healing for, for coronavirus and our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every illness and disease. Come to the midst of our lives, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, that they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers as they help the sick. Guide researchers to develop a vaccine. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Lord, our Lady of Promise Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Rosalie. Pray for us. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of our Lady of Prumsuk in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us today, about today, against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us the wisdom that we can build a community founded on the values of Jesus which gives respect for the life and the dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and to keep dignity in our community. We ask this to Christ our Lord. While we give promise our care, hasten to help us. Father Henry of Galileo, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Bless is thy you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of the earth. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offering we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius, be pleasing Lord God, and grant us the sacred mystery which you have made the path of all holiness. May sanctify us to in the truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is he truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his word of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers, and so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the path of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Shabbos was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we will bring your death over until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon. Thus says the Lord, I have come to cast fire on the earth, and how I wish that it were kindled.
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of Saint Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty with love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. I speak to God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God reveal to you, we humbly pray, and do thou for praise from the heavenly host. By the power of God, as is in our Savior, and all the evil spirits who crowd about the world, seeking the roots and souls.